All right, here we are again with a special edition of Selling Hobson by the Pound. And in my efforts at uh, reorganizing my music room, which I'm in right now, which has a lot of art in it, this is a piece of art that I've had for probably 25 years. And let me tell you the origins of it. When I did business with uh, RCA, BMG, back in the day for the living stereos and some of the living stereo popular things and so forth. Um, that was a time where I would go to New York quite a lot and, you know, sit with people. And that was part of the success of Classic Records was being able to obtain these titles. But what happened was they were in a downsizing phase during that period. And so they were getting rid of a lot of stuff to like um, put more people in place or, you know, uh, some, in some cases downsize. So they were throwing out a bunch of stuff. And, and um, I happened to be there one day. And among other things, um, I got this image. It's a, it's a work. Uh, it's actually a, a study, I think. Uh, it's an original painting created by Harry Bennett. Um, and Harry Bennett died in 2012. And uh, he's an artist and illustrator uh, whose work was featured on the cover of over a thousand paperback novels throughout his career. And um, what happened was uh, in the early 2000s, um, I was given this. Uh, they were going to throw it away. And I said, you know, I'll take it. I think what it is, and no one really knows, but it's a one of a kind, is it was a mock up or a study, if you will, uh, for cover art for a, uh, what would obviously be a Jefferson Airplane, either Greatest Hits um, or Reissue Series or maybe a box set because, you know, it's got all of the great, um, you know, covers, you know, after Bathing at Barker's, uh, or Baxter, sorry, Volunteers, um, you know, the uh, Blows Against the... Um, where is that? Blows against the... Oh, goodness, I forgot what that is. Um, yeah, so, you know, so it's got all the covers here on this kind of unique, what looks like an airplane, right? But is it's got all this incredible detail and so forth. And, and the flag, it's even got a Pantone color that um, was chosen, you know, for some part of it. Anyway, this is pretty unique, and if you're a Jefferson Airplane fan at all, this is, you know, something that no one else in the universe has, and there's only one of them. So I'm going to let go of this because I've had it hanging in my music room for 20-plus years, and uh, I've decided to change things up. So it's an opportunity. I will note, you know, it's in a, it's in a frame that, you know, I had put on 25 years ago. It's got a little ding from being moved around, so you know it's not the frame's not really the big deal. It's the original piece of art. So uh, in any event, that's what starts selling Hobson by the pound this week. And um, I hope if anybody out there is interested, um, they'll take advantage of that. It'll probably end up in the hands of a Jefferson Airplane fanatic. So, all right. Um, as uh, last week, and I think maybe even the week before we started with this series of King records, right? And some of them are King Super Analogs or the 180 gram versions. Here's an example. Uh, this is Mozart's Ser uh, Serenade Number no. 7, Munchinger, uh, Vienna Phil, Willie Boskowski uh, conducting. Uh, this is licensed from uh, London. This, I think, is a regular weight pressing. And um, uh, this is part of that King series from early on. Here we go back into the King Super analog discs. This is uh, Verdi, uh, the Requiem, with uh, Reiner and the Vienna Philharmonic. This is a really, really wonderful performance and uh, very highly sought after. And remember, all of these are sealed, right? Uh, they've never been played. Here we've got... Um, Britain, uh, a series of different pieces. Uh, Britain actually conducting some of his own pieces. There's also Delius on here and Elgar and Purcell. 
Uh, so, but Benjamin Britten, the, com the composer, is conducting the English Chamber Orchestra. Again, a sealed copy. Um, here we've got this. Uh, there were there was more than one copy of this. Maybe this has already been up. This is uh, Ernst Ansemé, right? Remember of Royal Ballet fan. He's doing Russian delights, including uh, Mazorsky, A Night on Bear Mountain, um, Glinka. Um, there's a few pieces from Glinka. And, uh, and so forth. So beautiful stuff. This was obviously originally uh, a DECA recording uh, licensed by King Record Company in Japan and pressed at JVC, the legendary JVC plant. So these things are, they set a standard of quality that is hard to match even today. Beethoven 7th, Carry On, uh, Vienna Phil, you know, they play this stuff in their sleep. Uh, this is a fantastic performance. Beautiful picture of Carrion as well. Beautiful. Um, captured him in the, in the moment. Um, here we go. This is Bartok, uh, Diversamento for Spring Orchestra in Vivaldi. Concerto Grossa um, and uh, Barshai and the Moscow Chamber Orchestra. Again, another sealed copy. And... Um, here we go. Uh, this is Cortez. Uh, Istan Cortez is the conductor. He's conducting Kodai, the Harry Janos, and uh, the dances of Galanta, and uh, Arias from um, Harry Yantos. Yeah, Istvan Cortez in the London Symphony Orchestra. This is famous performances, and the, the sound on these things are ridiculous. King had their own mastering system and cutting lathe, and it was just fantastic. Here we got Debussy and Ravel, uh, as played by Montour, as conducting the London Symphony Orchestra. Again, this is a, um, a DECA original recording. Um, here's Willy Boskowski doing the, this so-called New Year in Vienna, so it's waltzes, soupe overtures. There's some Strauss, uh, Johann Strauss on side too. It's, it's just beautiful music and very well recorded. Uh, Boskowski with the Vienna Phil. Again, sealed copy. Um, and, and I'm just going to say this again. It's impossible to find these things, one, because they weren't exported generally. But secondly, and probably more importantly, sealed, you can forget about it. So Dvorak String Quartets. Um, uh, in D minor, uh, Janacek Quartet, um, famous quartet, and um, famous recording as well, sealed. Artur Rubinstein, Brahms Piano Concerto with Zubin Maida in the, in the uh, Israel Philharmonic, um, famous performance by Rubinstein. Um, Maida is probably at his best here. Um, remember, Zubin Mehta did a lot of those recordings with the L.A. Phil. Uh, so here we got uh, Tchaikovsky Serenade for Strings and Dvorak Serenade for Strings, Neville Mariner, Academy of St. Martin in the Fields. Solid, solid stuff. Beautiful recordings, again, from the DECA, and it's a sealed copy. Um, here we've got, um, these are like, this is a... A kind of a collection. It's got Tchaikovsky, the Nutcracker. I think it's got not, it's not complete, but then you got, um, you know, Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy, one of my favorites, um, and then Waltz of the Flowers, and, you know, eight pieces all together from the Nutcracker. You got Schubert, Military March, uh, Weber, Invitation to the Dance, and uh, this is Knapper's Bush uh, conducting the Vienna Phil. Again, a DECA recording. Beautiful cover, too, by the way. I don't know where that's at. Maybe it's in Vienna. Um, here we got uh, Mahler, um, Das Lied von Der Air, um, Bernstein conducting the Vienna Phil. Um, James King is the tenor, and the, the ever famous Dietrich Fischer Dischau is the baritone here. Um, well known recording, beautiful sealed copy. Again, from the DECA catalog. Here we got uh, Dorati conducting the Philharmonia uh, Hung uh, Hungariska Orchestra, uh, doing Haydn, uh, number 100 and number 94, which are uh, referred to as the military and the surprise. 
um, on one disc. Again, a sealed copy. Antal Dorati, of course, of Mercury fame, but he did do recordings for Decca back in that period as well. Here you've got Bach organ recital, Toccata and Fugue, uh, Fantasia, uh, with uh, this famous organist Carl Richter. Um, and let me tell you something, these organ records on King Super Analog will shake the house. That's how wonderful they are. Here's a famous, the famous Brook Violin Concerto and uh, the Scottish Fantasy on the other side. Uh, Wa Chung uh, playing the violin, uh, Kempa and the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra um, is at work here. This is a beautiful performance. I've, I've heard this many times. This, um, this, fortunately, is a sealed copy. Remember, some of these I have doubles of, so. Um, Vivaldi, The Four Seasons, <clears throat> one of my favorites. Alan Loveday, Academy of St. Martin in the Fields. Uh, Adam Loveday is on violin, by the way. And it's Neville Mariner conducting the Academy of St. Martin in the Fields. Um, again, sealed copy. And here, I think this is, this is actually an open copy, but I don't, it, it may have just been played once. Uh, it's Beethoven Egmont with George Zell and the Vienna Philharmonic. Um, this is one of the, the regular weight pressing. But look at that beautiful reproduction of the London FFSS label. Um, and it's just, it's stunning. This is another JVC pressing, it's just not 180 gram. So take note of that. And um, yeah, great offering this week, uh, especially with this beautiful original piece of art. And, um, you know, as always, good luck.